I'm really excited to be looking at Bit Plaza today. So this is going to be a full tutorial walkthrough where I actually am using the app to buy something with Bitcoin. So Bit Plaza is basically a marketplace full of items. So you can get anything from your shampoo to uh, your next iPad to some Adidas clothing. So there's really a big variety of things that you can purchase with Bitcoin, which honestly I think is an important part of this entire cycle of adoption. You know, obviously getting people to understand what Bitcoin is and maybe even having a little piece of it themselves, but in terms of like mainstream adoption, having places for people to actually use it and spend it is really important too. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, here we are in the BitPlaza app and as you can see the kind of default home screen is just to show me a variety of different products that they have available on the site. But if you are shopping for something specific, it is organized by categories and here you can see they have a big variety of things available. Everything from different electronics to personal care and grocery pet items, baby stuff, toys, cosmetics, even books. And so it looks like they really are trying to build out a pretty robust marketplace for different things that people can purchase with their Bitcoin. So I am going to be walking through doing an actual purchase in the app today. Um, but to start out, let me just do a really quick walk through the app of the different buttons and features that are on here before we jump in. So I had just mentioned if you were looking for something specific, you could look through the categories. But to narrow that down even more, there is a search button on the bottom left hand corner where you can actually type in a specific item or thing that you're looking for. So if I was, let's say, shopping for a speaker, I could pop that in and get a variety of results. So I am going to be getting this little Sony Bluetooth speaker. And so this really functions like pretty much any other website you've ever used where you add it to your cart. Um, but here you can see there's description information, shipping information, and things like that. So I'm going to add this to my cart. And let's click view cart because I'm going to go ahead and check out. Okay, so again, this should, you know, look pretty familiar. Pretty typical cart setup here. You can change the quantity, adjust items as needed. And then when you're ready to check out, click proceed to check out. And then here you would just go ahead and fill in all of your personal information. Okay, so once you've filled in your order information, such as your address and email and phone number and things like that, you can go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom where it shows you the subtotal. So once you're ready, go ahead and click place order. Okay, so now we're on the payment screen. and This is where things get fun and we're actually gonna pay with some Bitcoin. So it gives you some information like your order number, different things like that. Um, you can toggle to different languages here, it looks like, if you would like. Um, but basically, this is a QR code and there's an address that you can use. So the way that you would do this is you would send that amount of Bitcoin to this address. So depending on what wallet you're using, you can either um, use this QR code within the app of your wallet or you can, if you're using your hardware wallet or something different, you can go ahead and copy and paste that address into the app. All right, so I just sent the Bitcoin, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the, click here if you have already sent Bitcoins button. Okay, and it looks, it gave me a notification saying that the Bitcoin was successfully received. And then let's see what this order confirmation says. It says, thank you for your recent order. You'll receive an email shortly with your receipt and order details. Your order is shipping out soon. Keep an eye out for your tracking number, which will be sent to your email address. So let's go ahead and pop into my email so I can show that to you guys. Okay, and here's my BitPlaza receipt and order confirmation. Here it has my order number, the item, the total amount that was paid via Bitcoin. And then I scrolled to the bottom so you guys don't see my address, but uh, here at the bottom it also gives you their email address, their business address, their phone number, and all of the support information you may need. But again, you can also access that in the support section of the app. I really hope that you guys found this helpful, but if you do have any additional questions, please leave them below. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments. I always enjoy hearing from you.